1 Samuel 16 is a familiar chapter in the history of Israel. The Lord has rejected Saul as the nation's king, and he sends Samuel to Bethlehem to find and anoint Saul's successor. It's a story about how looks can be deceiving, a story that shows how God sees things very differently than we do, and how we are dependent upon God's Spirit to do His will. To protect Samuel and his quest for Saul's successor, the Lord instructs Samuel to make a sacrifice in Bethlehem and invite Jesse and his sons. Verse 6 tells us, When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, Surely this is the Lord's anointed. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Samuel goes one by one through all of Jesse's sons, except for David. David, Jesse's youngest, was in the fields watching the sheep and goats. Send for him at once, Samuel said. We'll not sit down and eat until he arrives. Jesse sent for him, and the Lord said, This is the one. Anoint him. So as David stands in the presence of his older brothers, Samuel anoints David as the king of Israel. And the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day on. And just like God called a youngster, a shepherd boy, a kid that wasn't even invited to the party by his own father to be king, many times God calls you and I to do big things things that are way beyond our capability and control. God calls us to do things only He can do. And then He gives us the power of His Spirit to help us in the doing of it. So here's the question. What is God calling you to do today that seems impossible? God will make it possible, just like He did for David, when we depend on the power and the presence of his Holy Spirit to do his will.